Hello and welcome to a quick guide on how to export G code using Carbide Create V7 or V6. Upon the release of V7 for Carbide Create, you can no longer export G code directly from V7 unless you have CC Pro. So, this is for those using the free version of Carbide Create. In V7, the design and tool paths are saved as a single C2D file that Carbide Motion which is Shapoko's proprietary control software, and you must have one of their machines to use. Let's look at two ways you can generate G-code using V7 and the stipulation Carbide has on one of these options. For the first method, you can design your project, set all your toolpaths, and save the file as a C2D file. If you use the second method, you will want to stop at the design part, but we'll talk about that more later. To save, Go to File, then Save As, or the Save Tile Path button under Simulation. These are essentially a save button, no G code is generated yet. Using the first method, we will need to go to my.carbide3d.com slash extract G code, and there you will see the following. Note. This page is limited to use by owners of Carbide 3D machines. If you have any questions, please contact support with your original order number. To export G-code from Carbide Create directly, get Carbide Create Pro. So your mileage may vary, but if you can get to this page to extract your G-code, drop your CTUD file into the box or select it from the browse file. Then click download and save the G-code to your hard drive. Now, what if you don't have a Carbide 3 machine or the website is not working? Well, it's back to V6, which you can get at carbide3d.com slash carbidecreate slash download six. Pick the release that is right for you and go through the install process. To import our design from V7 into V6, we need to go to file, save as V6 file. This will save our design. Now switch over to V6, go to file, open and select the file. Notice that one of our hello world is on an arc and one is straight. Before you save as a V6 file, you will need to convert the text to curves if you are using this option. Earlier, I talked about not setting up your tool pathing in V7 the reason is it will carry those over, but basically clear them out and you'll have to reset all your tool pathing. So just do it once and do it in V6. If the V7 step seems like extra work and you don't need its new feature, you can use V6 directly. Just keep in mind that V6 will not receive support or updates, so it is what it is. In my opinion, if your design is simple, just stick with V6, unless you need the ARC tech support from V7. Or if you're looking for a free CAD software, give Inkscape a try. It is loaded with tools and features and costs nothing. Just save your SVG, import it into six, set your tool paths and get cutting. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and wanna see more CNC machine videos, Click that subscribe button and remember until next time, keep making stuff.